All right, just gonna give a quick demo of a user control I made for WPF. Um, it's a flyout. So essentially what it is, is this control right here that allows you to sort of put any content inside of it and it'll fly out. Um, so it kind of goes in the corner. Um, and it kind of programmatically knows like what angle to fly out at. So if we were to change the size of its content, um, let's see, where is it? So this is the control fly out adorner grid. And this is the content that's inside. So there's a checkbox and a text box and a button. So if we were to change the size to be a little smaller and wider, let's say, um, it'll just kind of automatically know like what angle to fly out at, which is pretty cool, just automatic. So now it flies out at a little um, more horizontal angle, um, and you can programmatically expand it or hide it um, because it's got a dependency property for that that it's kind of listening to. Is fly out visible? That would just hide it or show it. Is expanded? So you can bind those and control those from the view model. So you can programmatically bring it in or out, just completely hide it. Um, moving around, that's kind of a bug. Um, it should, since it's expanded, it should have come out or stayed out. Um, but you can kind of put it in any spot you want. Bottom right, put it on the left. And... Uh, this content in here is bound to the same data context as uh, whatever's inside the grid. So like the data context for these radio buttons is the same data context for uh, this test button. So I guess I can kind of show that. Um, so they're in this case they're both bound to the just this one main view model. So the button is bound to this uh, test command and like uh, that is expanded checkbox is bound to this so this is expanded is bound to this boolean and this button is uh, bound to this view, uh, command which will come down here so just to prove that boom hit our little breakpoint Um, and it'll kind of remember, like this is the same text box here as it is. If you were to move it to the right, it still has its content. Because they're the, pretty much the same controls. They're just getting moved around. Um, so that's pretty much it for the coolness that is that. Um, it, it works using adorners. So... To fly out the Dorner grid, um, the it controls the placement with this enumeration. So here's the eight options: top left, top, top right. Uh, this is just basically just a dependency property bag of the class. Yeah. So hopefully you thought that was a uh, pretty nifty.